Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of color craze. Today we have a more muted, neutral kind of color scheme going on and this is it. Um, I am going to pick up on kind of the browns and the grays in there. Well, it is all brown and gray. <laughs> anyway, also playing along with 30 days of sketches. This is the sketch that we are using today from Ginger over at Ginger's Corner. I'm going to be using the right hand side that has the wreath on it and I'm going to ignore the left hand side. Uh, because it doesn't work with my photos. I really only have this one photo. Uh, it is of a drink that I had on board the ship in Alaska. It is basically um, a butter pecan latte and I just fell in love with these and I have tried the one that is supposed to be similar um, or supposed to be it is, it is basically a butter pecan type of latte at Starbucks but it does not taste the same not even close um this this one is so good it's so delicious i think i had at least one a day maybe two um sometimes maybe three <laughs> and i'm not a i don't normally drink more than one cup of coffee so uh yeah that was a huge thing i also have this chipboard wreath this is from dusty attic i actually got it from mk's shop quite a while back and i really like it i think it's really cool and it goes with that kind of fall vibe even though the photo was actually taken in um july but, uh, you know, in July in Alaska, it feels like fall in California, or actually it is colder than fall in California for the most part. And so I thought I would just use the, this kind of a fall feeling for it. So I'm also using a really piece, a really old piece of, I'm um, showing you the, the shine right there, you guys. I had sprayed that wreath prior to this video uh, for another project and then I didn't end up using it and I sprayed it with some Dilutions Desert Sand Spray, uh, Shimmer Spray, and then I just used some really old glossy, no, uh, not glossy accents, um, Tattered Angels uh, spray over the berries and it just kind of give it more of a pinker tone even though it's really more of a tone on tone look. I'm going to use that same uh, p color that I used on the berries on this piece of paper and it's going to come out really orangey red um, I, I think I'm going to leave that but I end up kind of toning the whole overall overall thing down when I alter my uh, my acrylic piece so yeah I think I may end up going over this with a little bit more of the other color but uh, it's it's a lot orangier than I thought it would be. I was going for more of that um, dusty color, dusty pink color in the inspiration piece. So I have this acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs. I was trying to figure out on in my uh, swatch book there what color I wanted to make it. It is this turquoisey green color and I'm showing you there that I went and stitched all the way around the outside edge of this layout. Um, anyway, trying to figure out what color I want to make that piece and I ended up spraying it with some Nuvo Sparkle Spray in Blush Burst. I actually went over it with some heavy gesso first of all to so it would take that um, blush burst and I'm hoping that it works. I'm not 100% sure. I actually ended up taking it all outside after I sprayed it with the blush burst and I sealed it with um, some Kmar spray. Now I don't know if that's going to work or not and uh, that is something that you use to seal like watercolor and that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping that it does. We're going to find out. Um, yeah, it, this is all kind of an experiment with sealing it. Normally I wouldn't worry too much about it with like say an acrylic spray spray because I know that's going to dry nice and hard. In fact, uh, even when I do splatter with the acrylic glo um, gloss from Dina Wakely, it dries on my glass mat relatively quickly and it takes like a razor blade to get it off. It doesn't come off very easily. So that is, <laughs> that's a, actually a really good recommendation is to use acrylic spray, but I really wanted the sparkle. So uh, that's why I decided to use that color. And uh, it's the first time I've actually used the Nuvo Sparkle Spray on that and I Another reason I did seal it is because the sparkle spray comes off on your fingers no matter what. Um, I have not found a way that it does not. So uh, sealing it with that Kmar spray, I think it's called Kmar spray, um, is hopefully the one that is going to do the trick. 
So now I'm using some Plum Grove uh, florals from 49 and Market. These have been in my stash for quite some time. Um, and I know there's not a really big amount of purple on our inspiration piece, but I'm going to go ahead and use even the ones with the purple in it because I felt like it's kind of an earthy purple. It's uh, almost veers towards kind of like the browns. Um, and so I'm just going to go with it. And I'm really liking the way that this is coming out so far. I'm also going to use a lot of the little reddish looking florals to kind of scatter around on my wreath that I've got going here. And I think it's going to look good and just bring in those softed, muted, softer muted uh, pinky tones that are in the inspiration piece. And I will do a little bit of journaling about how this was like my favorite morning beverage um, on board the, the cruise. And I normally I'm a vanilla latte girl. I don't really stray too far from that. In fact, I had a pumpkin spice the other day and I, I drank about half of it and went, okay, this is too sweet. And um, I ended up pouring the rest of it out, which I know some people might just cringe about, but I, it wasn't my thing. And I hadn't had one in about two years. So I was like, I'm going to try it just and see um, if, if it's what I, if it is what I remember or if I, uh, if I do in fact like it now, but yeah, it was just too sweet for me. I, I stick with my vanilla latte and I do like it with whole milk and, um, I don't drink a lot. Drink, don't, I really don't drink, uh, coffee that I have to stop and purchase very often. Normally I just make my coffee at home in our Keurig and, uh, drink it on my way to work. So that's, that's pretty much it. But every once in a while, you know, you need to go out and get a little treat and, um, try it and I happened to be at Target that had a Starbucks in it and so that's when I tried the pumpkin spice one anyway uh, now I know I also did try their one that is like a butter pecan uh, probably about two weeks before that and went mm, this is not the same butter pecan one that they had on board the ship and it is definitely not my cup of tea uh, <laughs> so to speak and then anyway so I'm going to go ahead and add my label here my label, my title. And I left the backer on my acrylic piece and used it to uh, just help adhere the glue to it. I don't know long term what that's going to do. I haven't had any problems with that doing that so far. And uh, I am just using my liquid glue to adhere everything else down. Now I did put the red heart back in that hug and a mug title, but I don't like the red heart. It looks very garish on this layout. It might have been perfect for a different layout and different papers, but uh, it doesn't look right on this one. And it is not glued in, in fact. But I did have a bit of a hard time getting it back out. I had to flip the layout upside down, and that didn't work. And then I ended up using my tweezers to kind of press down on one side and use tweezers to pull it up on the other side. Yeah, I finally did get it out, and it's not going to be in there for the duration. But... Um, yeah, it's it just doesn't do anything for me. So here I am just adding a few more sprigs around the side of this mug. I will be adding a label to do a little bit of journaling on. And while I do all of that, just rem remember there are a bunch of people playing along with 30 Days of Sketches. The link to the playlist is down below. We do have um, MK also playing along with color craze we have some other people that have been joining in for the fun and uh, maybe posting in our groups sharing their layouts so you can go and check that out in our Facebook groups uh, some assemblage required Facebook group and the Galaxy Girl Creations Facebook group I link those down below for you and if you want to play along and you want the inspiration uh, pieces for the upcoming days. They are all listed in the albums in either one of our Facebook groups, so you can go and check that out there. Okay, I did go through my labels. I found one that matches kind of the border around my cup. It is peachy pink color, and that is what I'm going to use to do just a tiny bit of journaling on about how I loved this drink. And I think you've heard enough about how much I love it. I'm doing my journaling with my black uh, Muji pen in a 0.38, and uh, just noting down exactly what I told you there. And then I, this is me trying to get that red heart out 
and obviously that didn't work. So I'm using my tweezers. My tweezers ended up being what ended up working. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below as always, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I know you guys have a lot of inspiration out there and a lot of options, and I am just so thankful that you chose my channel today and I really do appreciate it so and I do appreciate any thumbs up that you give if you enjoyed this one and any comments that you leave so I I really it does touch my heart and I read every single one of them it may take me a little while but I do respond thanks again for watching I will be back again uh, real soon with another one so I'll see you then bye bye